All right, Timmy's gonna walk you around the garden. We're gonna give you a full tour. Um, we do need to weed, but here's some. Uh, our green onions are growing. Sometimes we'll transplant those. Um, here's where the garlic was. That's our strawberries. And here's some of our shallots. That's a big one right there. And look, this sunflower got knocked over and now it's growing like, like a snake on the ground. And there's the cobra head right there. See? It grew all like a, and it's got little heads growing all over it. But, uh, all right. That one got knocked over too. That one got knocked over too, but it's still growing. There's a couple onions over there. Oh, there's a bunch of red onions right there. You try to pick those. Just the ones that are over. No, they were rotting. We're... Okay. We're just gonna have to watch them real good. Okay. There's another sunflower got knocked over. We've got a few onions left out here. Look at this guy, crazy guy. So Brussels sprouts here and Timmy snap peas are still doing pretty good. A couple things of lettuce. There you go. Imperial steel, household Japan. Found that somewhere, we leave, we leave it out for a garden knife. Look at that, gypsy broccoli. First year growing gypsy broccoli, but uh, it, it's growing really well. I mean, it's hot, it's not molten, and uh, that's what we picked already. And look, it's got new heads on it. The last gypsy we, the last broccoli we grow, after we cut it, we just got a bunch of little ones. But look, these are decent sized heads that it's growing. So, pretty cool uh, broccoli for sure. Wouldn't you think, Tammy? Yeah. Tastes good too, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, um, usually we have trouble with worms. Like, oh my gosh. That big flag on the back of his truck. There was a few, but not many. Not like we usually get. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of uh, worms on this. See, there's one still growing. We planted these a little bit separate. Look at that. Why don't you just cut the whole thing off? Is it not growing that well? It's growing separate. Uh, I'm going to show them some celery that we're not picking. Celery there, there, and this is the big one so far. But that'll grow all year. Then we got our purple eggplants here. Ooh, there's a Japanese beetle right there. See it? That's what's eating, eating them holes in the stuff. But there's a flower on the ground. Birds will just chop those right off. But there's an eggplant down there. And a bunch of flowers. See, there's a flower there. What? I let that one go or take it. Yeah, just let that one go. And there's a bunch of white eggplants down here. Bunch of them, man. Just loaded in white eggplant. And then uh, here's our tomatoes. That one. That Main stalks broke twice. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna let it grow. It's not broke off. So we're getting some tomatoes on now. 
and uh, this is the green night eggplant first year growing a green night there's one right there and another one kind of looks like peppers this is the green night too but it's not growing so well the big multi head sunflowers all knocked over I'll have to lift that back up that's some peppers small pepper plants and he's got some big old snap peas. Brussels sprouts. Right? Isn't that what those are? There's a cauliflower. That's purple cauliflower. I don't know what what it is actually. Those are our cold weather and I don't know, they never did anything now they're growing, so these are our trick jalapenos. We eat them all the time. Been eating them. Bunch of, bunch of peppers on there. We do have one cabbage left. And he's starting to grow now. Got a few onions out there. <coughs> What's that? I keep putting this guy back up here and he just won't stay. He's killing off that two on the end. Tie it. Here's our cherry tomatoes. You, we should have tomatoes already. Cherry tomatoes, but there's some on there. And some more tomatoes, some more tomatoes, more tomatoes, more tomatoes, more tomatoes. All that's tomatoes. Got some uh, peppers down here. They're so heavy they're pulling the, the plant over. And these are jalapenos. They're like a real sized jalapeno. The short for that got a real a lot of views, but look at that. It's still growing. The real sized jalapeno right there. Then these are getting blown over, but Look at that, red cherry, red cherry. I'll come out here and stake these back up, but I'm gonna let them go right now because I don't want them to break off and they're probably better off down there right now. There's some red cherry. And those are about as high as a jalapeno, first year growing those. Some more. I was eating one of those the other day, I tried it, and I said, man, that tastes like uh, green pepper. And I just kept eating it and eating it, and then, uh, man, that heat come on pretty strong after that. But it says this is uh, Anaheim chilies. Anaheim chili. Got some more up here on the upper part. That's our mama onion. She's already given us seeds this year multiple times. And this is her fourth year out here. I'm not going to show you the beans yet because team is going to pick them. If you can even hear us because it's pretty windy. Alright, that's one of our hot peppers. Got something right there. Not a lot, but they're coming. You need to cage these guys or something because this wind is just killing it now that they're uh, that's a holy moly holy moly that's my reaper we got a few on there
we got these uh, Thai peppers, they're loaded. That's a little hotter than a jalapeno. Got this crazy looking thing. Yeah, see they get red like this when they're ripe or orange. And that's a hotter than a jalapeno. Yeah, there's red ones. These are red ties. More peppers there. Ghost peppers in there. I think that's ghost pepper. Nope, habanero. Yellow habanero. Trinidad scorpion. See it in there? Look at all them little peppers. Can you see them? And that's a uh, Trinidad morgue scorpion. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper here, and there are some ghost peppers on there. You see them in there? Just starting. And Red Carolina Reaper here. See the flower? I don't know if you're seeing that. I don't think you are. Oh, right there. Yeah, there's a bunch, there's another one over here. A bunch right there. Whole bunch right there. All right. Tammy's beating her. Her uh, Roma tomatoes. Should be purple Cherokee. Did you want to pick peas be or beans? Yeah. Whoa, let me see how many you got. You got trichia, you got some snap peas. That is. I think it's one of those hot things. No, it isn't. There's our dill. What do you say dill. about the eggplant? Does it need to The white ones? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. I don't know. How big is it? That second one looks too big or no? This one? We can pick it. There, there's so many white e eggplant that. Yeah, just twisted that and then pulled it off. That's two. It's all over in there. What? They're getting. It's from a lot of moisture and heat. Alright, pick beans, babe. So we still got beans left, and then we gotta show you uh, cucumbers, melons, corn. Oh yeah, little. I didn't think they were doing very good, but there's beans on there. Oh, I already got one mess of them in the house. He missed. 
Oh, you've already picked? I picked one last year. I didn't know they were out here, and I was just out here checking out the... Good memory. Get over here. We got some purple beans over here. Some babies on there. This guy's getting big, but I don't have much of it. Comment below if you like green beans. And how do you cook your green beans, or do you can them, or what do you do with them? Do you French, uh, French cut them? That's what we like to do. That's what I like to do. French cut, or just toss them in a salad. I like them, if they're going to be whole, I like them crispy, and if they're going to be cooked, I want them sliced. That's just me, though. And cooked in butter, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. Or you put some butter in, just a little bit of butter in with the... Got some more sunflowers coming. Right there too. So we got August and part of September yet to grow. October. Doesn't really really freeze till end of October. Most stuff be okay. But what is this thing? What's this thing? I don't know, but um, I have been finding those this year. What are they? Comment below if you know what that is. Hey there. Hey look, it's purple. purple. These are new for us this year, these purple beans. We don't always grow green beans. Last year we tried an asparagus bean. We didn't like it at all. Ooh, that's neat. Pretty. So this will, we'll have to do a taste test on this and let you know if these uh, purple beans are any good. If they're as good as our green beans. But there's a lot of flowers on here. I think they're coming. There's some that's not very big. Like there's a bunch of them. That's our mama onion. But that was just one That's onion four years ago. Can you get that? That's a weed. I just put my back into it. Little guys on there. You got any right there? Is that one? Yeah, but it's not very big. <laughs> Alright, so the purple beans. I don't know, they're just coming on. Not a lot of them. Alright, let's go look at the. Uh, Cucumbers are really starting to take off now. Uh, I don't think I don't think there's any cucumbers in there, but you never know. They like to hide. Some 
starts. So the bad thing is I think these are the Armenian cucumbers and this is watermelon. I don't want them crossing but we'll see. And uh nope go. Some watermelon in here. One right there. Another one right there. And I'm gonna show you that one back there. There's a bunch through here. This is another cucumber, but this is uh the white stripe. It doesn't get a it doesn't get real big. See there's one right there. There are some cucumbers on there. Oh, damn, we'd be glad to see that. I'm actually gonna pick those. They're little, but it's okay. Look, Tammy, we got a cucumber. Aww. I could have let them grow, but you know, we like cucumbers. We like cucumbers. And, um,. Yeah, I'm hoping just to keep this up high enough that the watermelon, and I'm trying to redirect these. There's a watermelon there, it died. It's got another one coming right behind it, right there. So I don't know, should I leave that on there? Sweet potatoes are going to do their thing. Watermelon there, watermelon there. Watermelon in there. I'm sure they're all through there. I don't know. I can't see. And we got another cucumber here. I'm trying to redirect this every which way, but together. Train it to grow somewhere else. Watermelon there. Little baby. Watermelon there, but he looks dead or dying. Yeah, he died. He died. Watermelon here. Oh man, that one needs picked, Cammy. Oh man. Give me that knife, baby. Get out of here, B. Go. Go. Huh? This this watermelon's humongous. How's the weed? I don't even know this guy was here. I got one over here. It's big. All right, here. It died. Here. They don't all make it, Tammy. Here, take this. Oh boy. Sugar baby, that's a big sugar baby. All right, now I know there's another big one over here, so we're gonna go look at that one. But I got a few more cucumbers I gotta check. Let's see here. Make sure there's nothing up here. They seem to do better when they have something to grow on. Like they'll have more cucumbers. Not the way I got things set up this year. Man, it's wet out here. Which is good for cucumbers, I guess. Yeah, there are flowers everywhere, but I'm not seeing a lot of cucumbers. Okay. Sweet potatoes. Oh, there's some. These are Armenian, too. Yeah, you can tell by that. That's what Armenian cucumber looks like. I'm going to pick that one, too. And this one. You can't really go wrong picking cucumbers even early. Baby cucumbers, you can pickle them. They come on real heavy, real fast, and the more you pick them, the faster they come. So you, you won't pick more than you need, that's for sure. I mean, you'll always have bit, enough big cucumbers, trust me. And when you get a bunch of tr big cucumbers, then you gotta slice them all up. See what, see what I mean about <laughs> Oh, damn it. Look at this cute 
cucumber. Oh my gosh. Huh? <laughs> Gorilla. Look down a little further. I did. I picked one down there. It wasn't this big though. All right, get out of there, girls. Come on. Go. You're not going to be allowed in here if you keep walking on the plants. All right. Where's that knife at, babe? I'll trade you this big cucumber for that knife. Here. Right? If you don't pull weeds, you're not allowed in the garden. Yeah, if you don't pull weeds, you're not allowed in the garden. There's that big watermelon. There's one other one over here. Right here. Right there it is. Now this is the size they should be. It can't flush. But if I cut these off, then it'll be able to feed the other ones a little better. Maybe they won't die. Some of this grass grew up. This came from putting the chickens in here. The only place I had grass was down there at the end where that corn is. But ever since I put the chickens in here, I've been having grass come up in my garden. So we're not going to do that anymore. I'm round up in the whole garden this year when we harvest. And um, yeah, that's just what's happening. So. Alright. These are two melons. Get a thumbnail. Twenty seven minutes. Huh? Yeah, they're Anaheim. All right. What else do we have to show them? Oh, the squash, Tammy. So let's go do that. And uh, we'll cut this off in 30 minutes. Sorry it's so long. Okay, so this just popped up out of nowhere. We didn't plant this. Um, and it grew some squash, I think it is. I saw the squash bug eggs on there, but my zucchini died a long time ago, so I thought, well, it's not affecting this. There's a nightshade. It's a pepper. All peppers uh, are some form of nightshade. Anyways, we're going to pick this because it's dying. Anybody know what that is? And then look at this one. It's bigger. It's a good one. I'm not going to kill the plant. I don't know if it'll do anything, but and there's a small little one. So we're going to keep those three. And uh, I'm sure this will die off, but the squash boars have gotten it. All right, so over here's Tammy's uh, flower garden. She's got her butterfly bushes, these little things, the euchanasia, more butterfly bushes, all of her mosses. You know, it stays real shady here, so she's got all shade loving. Some ferns back there, now those are falling over, but those are gorgeous in the spring. And then she's starting to incorporate some stuff up on here. So tomato there looks cool so hopefully you saw our peach harvest but there's some that was that tree the zombie tree and there's still some more on there or no it was that tree over there and that's all harvested I think but this tree is just now starting to ooh that one might be ready starting to get soft these are real hard and these are a different peach look at these but I think they're about ready oh they are Tammy's peaches are ready these were hard and now they're soft so we need to get them but look at that the bugs love them see that yeah these are ready they're not hard anymore 
And look, the bugs are starting to get them. So we need to pick these. Look, they're falling. We can try to shake and see how many fall down. Watch out, bee. You'll bruise them. Bee or the peaches? The peaches. Okay, I won't, I won't do that. I'll just set them down there. No, because then they get mixed with the ones in back. You gotta go get something to put them in. We're just gonna go through them and cut out the good anyways. Okay, <clears throat> you wanna separate them right now? Okay. We can do that. That's bad, that's bad. That's good. What if they're hard? Leave them? Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't know. They'll probably turn soft soon. They'll ripen off the tree. I would just let them sit. That way, bugs won't get them. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Everywhere. Oh, well then leave it. Yeah, I guess leave it, and if it's hard, hard, then leave it, and if it's mildly soft, pick it. There are some that are hard. She's right. All those are still hard, hard, hard. I thought they were all soft, but they're not. Just gonna have to check them the next few days. I can't reach these ones. These ones right here above me. Yeah. yeah. I'm scared to bite into any of these because they have wormholes. We don't spray them. I want to try one of these. Right here. I want to try right here. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Wow, it's a good peach. Side in. Yeah. See those? Up here. I can't race those. That's how a gorilla gets the peaches down. He shakes the tree. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. Alright, let's see this other tree. Sorry this is so long, guys. There's a peach over here, but... There are a few peaches over here. I don't think any of those are ready. We can check them. This little guy didn't do very good this year. Oh yeah, it's still hard. But look, he's wanting to. He's got a bunch of trying to's. See? Still hard though. It's a rock. Definitely helped to prune these in the spring. And, but you can see they still doubled in size, but they had a lot more fruit on them this year. So next year we're gonna we're gonna prune them this fall, and we're gonna prune them in the spring. So hopefully we can cut down the growth again and still have a good harvest. So we're basically gonna cut them down almost to half, uh, or probably the top quarter, and then next spring we're gonna trim them again. So, that one's going to come almost all the way down. That's got to come down a bunch. They already got leaning up on tree or on chairs. All right, let's go out here and see what else we got. Apples are, this has to get cut way back too because these are super tall. But, these are baking apples. And you got to go through them. They do have a lot of worms. But they make delicious um, desserts. All right, so these Japanese beetles all over them. I 
Our, our, this is the first year for these raspberries. I didn't expect them to do anything. This is the second year for this one, and you can see he's expanded outside the fence because the rabbits eat them. So we put this like chicken wire up on both sides. Can you see it? But these are really nice raspberries here. Get out of here. That's my raspberry dummy. They're just humongous. Ooh, I'm about to drop it. I got it. They're just gigantic. But they come on yellow and then they ripen red. Like purple. Get off of there. Well, that way, if there's bugs on there, you just get protein with your fruit, I guess. But Second year for those, so they're doing pretty good. I'm hoping to get them tied up on these wires and have it take over this whole area. And then our... Mm. Spit the bug out. That's delicious. See, something hit this. And I had Japanese beetles all over this, too. And see how they're all like that. But it's still growing some grapes. Nowhere near ripe. But this was dead. Uh, two years ago, last year, we had it growing up to about here. And then this is all from this year. So this is all from this year. But this has been here for a long time. It used to take up this whole area right here. And it basically died off. You can see down in here, maybe. I got it protected now, but um, there's a giant root down there like this that it w did have, and this came off of it, this little shoot here. So we're hoping to keep that going. Uh, Tammy's, uh, Tammy's dad always grew that. All right. I think that's about it. We got the mullein out there, but yeah, I ate it. Did you want one? Oh, may yeah, I eat three? We're gonna make a birdhouse out of that. Well, there's a bunch right there. You can have them all when they get ripe. Right there. But you gotta beat the Japanese beetles. Here's our little sunflowers, and I got these ready for some uh, winter plants and. I'm going to try to set them up with some sort of uh, protection. But this is all pretty good soil. And I can see stuff starting to grow in it now. So, um, And the sunflowers haven't died. So I think it's ready. And here's a little shoot of the raspberry I brought back to life. I'm going to try to replant over there. We did have a few little plants out back here. There's our tiger grass. Here's our little meadow area. We did have a few plants out here. I don't know if they're doing anything or not. Probably not. Um, but we're going to go back and check. I'm not sure if they don't get enough sunlight or what's going on, but I had stuff planted in all these. There's something. Nothing out of there. Nettles. These I just kind of plant, let them go, hope for the best. I don't really do anything with them. But nothing's nothing's coming. But whatever that is. But this sure is nice. Look at this. This old. Queen Anne's Lace, Bergamot, Wheatgrass, and then last but not least we have our herb tower. Uh, the little tri-tower that we got from Slots are still trying. 
this cilantro is doing really good. Let's see, this is a uh, hot and spicy oregano, and so is this, two different kinds. Um, this is called hot and spicy oregano too. Um, then we got a couple uh, other kinds of oregano down here, Greek and um, Italian. So, doing pretty good, and that get moved inside. Tammy's got all her little succulents. She's starting little flowers, all kinds of things everywhere. Look at these chickens. Remember those little baby chickens that we showed you when we brought them home? Those two, the darker ones, they're still laying eggs. The white ones aren't laying eggs yet, but they still fight just like they did when they was little. What are you girls doing? Huh? We're still not sure either one of those aren't roosters. <laughs> 